Is he actually getting anywhere? I guess he is, just really, really, really slowly. Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS, we really need to make our biome as lush as humanly possible. We have a good amount of energy, and, and, if I can get out of this, I wonder if I can open up this last zone. Oh, I can. That's it. That is all the zones open up in the grasslands. We have 300 energy to deal with now. And deal with it, we shall. Let's go ahead and put our thing going fast forward. Ooh. Everything the light touches is now yours, even at night. Cool. So, unfortunately, I don't actually get to utilize any of that reward. Because we already had... Uh, full energy, but that's fine. 300 energy is quite nice. And I'd like to continue getting down some more trees as well. I want to get a couple of these down right away, actually, because that will get that will get some energy on the ground so I can think about what I want to do next. I'm probably going to put another set of honeybees over here so that they can make sure to pollinate all of these different trees here and we've got some grass down how's this guy doing that bison's all right our bison are pretty low i think we only have like three in the entire area right now so what we'll do is put down a couple of lovely lovely plants oh yeah beautiful purple cone flowers love them some sand cherries if i can find a place for it somewhere there we are and i'd like to move over here slightly we'll put down some honey mesquites because as usual all of our antelope love eating those again if i can find a place for it let me go ahead and zoom out here uh man we are like full of stuff everywhere there we go ah i knew i could get it somewhere and uh eh, we got some sumac if I can put this down somewhere in the area, right about, I don't know, oh, oh hey, I found, oh, there we go, hey, I knew I could find this place somewhere, uh, there is some eastern cottonwood, wait a minute, eastern cottonwood, eastern cottonwood, we can put down another one, oh yeah, this thing's actually going over by the water, that's where I want this guy, I don't know how many of these we can put down, but, I, at the very least, want to get this one down by the water. Wasn't this thing a lot more last time? I feel like it was. There we go. We'll start expanding over that way in just a minute. I do have to get my Ditreus level down ever so slightly. I think I'll put some earthworms down kind of right about here. And then I'll put some mushrooms right about here. We got about 65 energy left. Should be enough for at least a couple of creatures, like some frogs and mice and stuff, so that we can start populating this area of the biome. Put a couple of mice down. And what the heck, why not some badgers? Everyone could use some badgers. And we do have some snakes if we want to use them. I think I'll actually put down a king snake and a rattlesnake. Did I even put that king snake down? I don't think I did. Uh, let's put him down kind of over here. This way he overlaps quite a few different things. Now, we do have stuff like the bobcats that we could do if we wanted to. Eh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll put down some bobcats. There's no reason not to. Those guys have plenty to eat around here right now, so everything's looking pretty good. I would probably like to look real quick. Let me see here. I'm curious if... If anything has changed, now I remember when we looked at the earthworms, I don't think that this social interaction tab was here. I wonder what it has to say. It says, earthworms may be active at any time of the day or night. They spend most of their time underground. Many types of earthworm will emerge from the soil during the night or after rain. Well, that's definitely true. Because I've seen a ton of these guys after the rain. Uh, all over the roadway and stuff as well where I'm at. Earthworms are decomposers, which is a very important role in any ecosystem. They also burrow through soil, which helps loosen it giving plant roots more room to grow. All right. Finding an earthworm in soil usually means that the soil is full of nutrients for plant life. Well, that's good. I know where I'm at. Everyone complains of, like, grubs and stuff like that. So I'm kind of curious 
if earthworms and grubs have anything to do together let's go put down some more grass here want to get plenty of grass gra plenty of grass down get a nice sage bush down too put down some milkweed right about there so that this this snake that's kind of just slithering is he actually getting anywhere oh, i guess he is just really 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 slowly got a couple frogs hopping around too there he is the frogs need something to eat so we're gonna need some insects besides those earthworms i think we have some moths here we go we can put some moths down here oh, right about there they should be enjoying that and a zone has reached detritus level two plants and animals are unaffected okay where is that at oh that's probably like way over here i'll bet in this other zone is it no it's not let's find out exactly where this is ah okay right about here so let's put down ah, maybe some more mushrooms i guess man there's mushrooms everywhere i can't believe that i need more of them right about here there we go i should help everyone out we've got about 50 what do we have about 65 energy now that's plenty to do things with so that we can keep expanding this way couple of prairie blazing stars sounds like fun and uh yeah why not some milk vetch milk vetch yeah sounded like i was cursing before uh some switch grass what does switch grass look like i don't even remember there it is i wonder why they call this switch grass i wonder if we click on it if it'll tell us switch grass is an important food source for herbivores especially large ones like bison there are two types of prairies short grass prairies and tall grass prairies small animals like prairie dogs prefer short grass prairies where the grasses are short enough to be seen over and it's fairly easy to dig and move around on land animals like bison can be found in the tall grass prairies where vegetation grows higher and sometimes thicker switch grass can be gr oh switch switch grass which can grow to be over a meter tall occurs in tall grass prairies. All right, well, we kind of kind of have an everything prairie here. I don't I don't really know if we're set one way or the other, so to speak, but uh, we've got a little bit of everything right now. More honey mesquites, though. More honey mesquites, saith I. I am the lord of this particular ecosystem, and as such, I demand more honey mesquites. While we're doing the honey mesquite thing, let's see what else we have over here. We could put down another eastern cottonwood as well. I'm not really sure where I want to put it though. Let's put down more of these sage bushes. Those are always good. I'd like to get some more animals down too. Grab some more frogs. Right about there. And some more mice as well. And Ah, eh, what the heck? We'll put down some jackrabbits. Actually, I probably want to get a lot of jackrabbits down because like I said, these guys pretty much die to everything. And they definitely don't breed like rabbits like everyone says because they they uh they do not get out of hand very quickly in this game. In fact, these guys look at this. This guy only has one left. One poor rabbit left. That's it. Ditrius level two, huh? Guess that means more mushrooms are on tap. Got tons of mushrooms down here. Look at all this. Twenty of twenty. Maybe I'll put an earthworm down over here. That'll make everything a little bit better. We need thirty energy for that though. Let's go see what's going on. This bison is is he dead or just sleeping? He's sleeping inside of the skunk brush sumac. And you can actually see it's fruiting. That's pretty neat. Now, if we go real close, you can see all the little berries inside the textures there. <laughs> That's kind of funny. We should have enough now to put down some earthworms. Yes, we do. And we'll put those guys right about there. That should do it. I think we're in zone one now. It says zone one, level two, Ditrius. I'm not super worried about it, though. I mean, we have... We have a pretty good balance, and our biodome HP is at 99%. That is not bad at all. All things being considered. Now, I might want to put down some more honeybees, because honeybees, it said, like, basically rule the entire planet and are so important that without them, we would all die horribly. So I'll put some honeybees right there. And those honeybees are going to need some things to pollinate. A little blazing star, we'll get that down as well. Now, I think what we're going to need is a couple more cedars. I think that would be fun. Oh, well, thank you for the uh, the title coins, especially considering we are way down on these coins right now. How's this tree doing? Can it even get pollinated over here? Eh, maybe it can. I don't know. 
I'll see if I can get a pollinator down there at some point. For right now, we need to gain a little bit more energy so I can continue with putting down, where is it, the eastern red cedar. Although, now that I know I have at least more than one of these cottonwoods, I certainly wouldn't mind putting down another one because they're awesome. In fact, I might put one down like right here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this this is this is such a great tree. What does this thing have to say? Many types of butterfly, caterpillars, and larvae feed on cottonwood leaves. The bark is sometimes consumed by herb herbivores like rabbits. Huge cottonwood trees are perfect sites for bird nests and other animal homes. The branches provide safety from predators and the elements. Cottonwood seeds are often con con yeah, collected by nesting animals like birds and used as nesting material. It also has a ton of leaf properties. So I am happy about that, and I'm sure the rest of our ecosystem is as well. Go ahead and pull over here to the eastern red cedar, where we will be loading one up in just a second. Figure I'll take a walk through our ecosystem using the sprint button just because. Ooh, a group of prairie dogs has a low population. Well, I'll worry about that in a little bit. We've got an antelope over here just kind of flitting and flattering around. A bison taking a snooze. Another bison taking a snooze. Apparently all the bison are just like on strike or something over here. Let's go ahead and put down one of these eastern red cedars right about here. There we are. Now we're getting some pretty good tree cover. And this is actually starting to look like a forest. I may even take some time away from the camera and like get this place stocked out so that you guys can see it. Oh, are these blooming? Oh, it's pollinated. Oh, it is flowering. Okay, that's pretty cool. How about this stuff over here? Uh, it's pollinated and it's flowering. I don't really know if this is any different from what we would normally see. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can take a look at some of these plants and such here. Got this rabbit running here. Now, I will tell you right now, rabbits do not run this slow. This is a this is a heavy exaggeration of uh, underestimation, I should say, of the speed of rabbits. They are substantially faster than this, I know, because they are all over my neighborhood and I constantly try and catch them because why not? I figure everyone would. We do have 64 energy left, and with our energy, let's get down some more prairie dogs. If I can find a home for them, right about there. And I'd actually like to get down some mule deer too, right about there. A nice prey animal. I think they'll enjoy the area. There we are, there's the mule deer. That's kind of a w odd sound for mule deer. Is that, sounds like, sounds like, someone trying to light a mat or uh, light a, a lighter or something like that. I'm not really sure if that's the sound that mule deer make. I've never met a mule deer there though, so I don't exactly know. Now they are herbivores, so we do want to make sure that we have plenty of plants for them. I'm gonna put this right next to you guys because I know you guys love honey mesquites. Don't you? Oh yeah. Over here, we can continue to put down probably just more milkweeds. I always use those. And probably just more buffalo grass and the grama grass because grama grass is like the prairie grass, apparently. So you can never have too much grama grass. So the occupancy here can be up to 18. Now it made 10. So does that mean that that's all it's ever going to make, I wonder? I don't know. That's a question that I don't have the answer for. Let's put down some buffalo grass as well. I'm sure the buffalo will will approve of this message. The buffalo does not approve. He is running away. I don't know where he is going. Are you being chased by something? No, you're not. I don't know where that buffalo is going. He's gone. He is, he is out of the picture. He is no longer here. He has had enough of it and he's going home, I guess. Move over here to the... I want to put down at least one more thing. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just put down some cone flowers real quick. There we go. So that's pretty much surrounding our deers in there, have you? That is the plan, though. Next time, I plan on getting a little bit done myself and kind of like stocking out our, ego our ecosystem. I at least want to get to the water over here. That's my big goal. We've opened up the entire area, so this place can be actually pretty darn big when we get done with it. I hope you guys are enjoying Tidal Ecology, though, so far. Stay foxy and much love.